Dr. Prather, Pluristem has been involved in mesenchymal stromal cell research for the past six years. What is the difference between the highly controversial embryonic stem cells and the cells that Pluristem uses? You know, that's an excellent question, um, and you're correct. Embryonic stem cell research is controversial, and it's because the cells that come from the, uh, the uh, embryo, the, uh, the uh, union of the egg and the sperm, which causes an embryo, and you have to destroy that in order to get the cells for embryonic stem cell research. So basically, that's why it's so controversial. Our cells, on the other hand, come from the placenta. The placenta, the afterbirth, it's medical waste, it's traditionally medical waste, and uh, the cells that come from that we call mesenchymal stromal cells. So these are cells that um, are coming from the body of the placenta, and then we expand them in our proprietary three-dimensional bioreactor. Right now we're getting cells from moms that have had cesarean sections, C-sections. So we're doing that because it's just more convenient for us to be able to screen mom Prior to her uh, delivery of the baby, we screen her for uh, things such as in, like infectious diseases and immunological characteristics. And then we can be present when the baby is born because it is a scheduled surgical procedure. And then uh, take the placenta and screen that, again, for infectious diseases and, and, and immunological characteristics. And if we don't like it, then we uh, throw it away, which is what was going to happen anyway. If we do like it, then we bring it in-house and we take the mesenchymal stromal cells out of the body of the placenta for our, our research and development. We have relationships with uh, physicians in the Haifa uh, area and they ask their patients if it's uh, okay to have their placenta donated to them, uh, to us after the uh, baby is born, and if not, then they would just throw it away. So we've never had a mom refuse to, to give us uh, their, their placentas. Thank you, Dr. Prather.